What's up? My name is Kevin Iwaki. I am here to talk about open source sustainability. Heartbleed bug. In 2013, OpenSSL started dumping your private information to the open internet. SSL is the software that's used to secure the entire internet. And there was a bug that was introduced in 2013 that meant that it wasn't securing the internet anymore. The OpenSSL Foundation, despite its wide distribution of its software, is only found funded with $2,000 per year in donations and under a million dollars worth of contract work. So why is this such a problem? Why is open source a sustainability a problem? Well, take a look at the maintainer lifecycle of open source. You release a project and you get this comment, this is cool, thank you so much for your work. But over time, the sense of entitlement can develop among your users who aren't even paying for your software. This is cool, but can you make it do X? And over time, the sense of entitlement can grow. Why haven't you fixed this yet? And there's no financial rewards for the software you've released, so over time, this learns to burn out. So how do you fund your projects if you're an open source maintainer? Well, we tried asking the cloud hosting platforms nicely to pay for their massive use of open source. Uh, right now, open source is funded, self-funded, which tells you something, uh, or funded by an employer or consulting, which isn't a great way to keep high time coding. Uh, we think that we can do better at Gitcoin. We think that open source contributions should compensate well, should have an impact, and should align with our values. And it's the design space of open source and blockchain that I want to talk about. So we value open source software, and now that we have programmable money, we can make open source software profitable. The internet brought us to 1,000x usage of information services, and I think that the blockchain internet is going to do for financial services what the internet did for information, and this could be uh, a really great way to fund open source software with 1,000x use case of financial services. And the rope numbers is are that there's a hundred billion dollars in market cap for blockchain and now it's all chasing open source software all the money that used to go to some back office on wall street is now going to open source gitcoin's approach to solving this problem is treating it like a funnel we're going to take the take users of open source and make them contributors of open source and make them maintainers of open source and so a crypto economic force that advances people along this funnel so far, Gitcoin has done about a million dollars in platform value, and you can check that out on our transparent results page at gitcoin.co slash results. I think that we're in the middle of, uh, of a historic battle for the future of the open internet. From the Free Software Foundation in the 80s to the Linux Foundation in the 90s to the Bitcoin white paper in the 2010s. The future of open source is a part of the future of the fight for the open internet. And the world would look so much better if open source was sustainable and even profitable. I hope you'll join the conversation at Gitcoin.co. Peace.